Hey guys, let's talk bead colors, when, when to use them, what kind of water conditions. Um, best thing I can say is like when you get there in the morning, you kind of like open your box and you got that early morning daylight, right? And when you open your box, things just pop, right? And you can get the different look of the day you'll like certain colors really pop out and stick out you know pick out like four of those top colors that pop right out in the morning and start fishing those beads you know kind of start there as the day goes and the light conditions improved go down to a little bit less you know about the mid-range glow in that box and you'll kind of see that the fish can see on them you know way better light prism than we can but you'll find out that they're kind of looking at the same thing that we are like hey that one really sticks out you know then you get it in a water column and it uh the water may magnifies it so kind of start there for color wise um there are certain river conditions that i like to fish other colors in that help uh make it pop in the light you know for like like muddy waters you'd be surprised the the oranges really stick out for some reason in in the muddy water or dirty water you know and the biggest thing about high water though in general is whatever you're fishing making sure you're getting it tight to the bottom because all that little extra flow a lot of extra flow i should say is lifting that bead up and moving it more so you really got to get your beads tight to the bottom in high flows and that's you know one reason guys like how come i'm not catching fish whatever and other good people are catching around them you start looking at what these guys are using and the weight you know they're getting down tighter to add f uh, more weight to those flows which you know if you get stuck in your normal game it's like hey you know I'm gonna I caught a fish last time like this but the water level is way higher you're not getting down to where the fish are so your beads not in the you know in the strike zone so just keep that in mind that's a little tip that is probably one of the biggest keys to catching fish in high water is getting those that product down tight to the bottom um, you know, like when we get in emerald green water, certain colors just absolutely pop. You know, you, we, like uh, incognito wise, all the blood monies, the blood money colors, um, just absolutely pop. You know, uh, when you get them in that that green water, it's really hard to see colors. But when you get in that green water, the blood money colors really really pop. Here's like a 16 mil blood money that really pops in emerald green water the all the pink ladies uh, For example the like here's a 23 mil that color just absolutely pops pops clear down to the 12 mil hard beads Super great in that emerald green water like right off the drop when it right as it starts to get a little bit of green in it from um, From the change in the water your normal pinks are great, too um kilo orange plain is a great one in that color um i would say as it starts to clear or the light comes up i would switch to more of a like a pink fairy dust color it's a little bit more vibrant at that point that's a great one then you have all your um your frosted types like the the blood crop the blood clot frost Incognitos. I mean, that's got a really good map to it, so it kind of breaks up the the high viz of a uh, UV. It kind of tones it down a little bit as the water's clearer. You got your killer orange mats. Um, those are great for you know a little bit later in the day when the sun's directly over the water. That's a great color there. Um, <clears throat> you know, and another good one in the green is the. The blood trail it's kind of a it's like the blood clot but a little bit different uv in it it's more pink so that's a good one there um but in general you know add more weight add some split shot keep it in the zone but uh cloud condition makes a big cut big difference i mean like when you open that box like um here's a box here but it's just standard uh, this is like pink a lot of pinks and oranges in this but 
like when you open your box in the morning, you know, it can be clear, over, clear a clear blue day, bluebird day. Those colors are going to look different, not as bright or different colors are going to pop. So when you open that box up, kind of look it out, you know, it's like cloudy, overcast, real dark. Certain colors are going to stick out more than others. And I kind of start there, you know, start my day out with mixing them up on different rods. And then you can kind of, you can kind of transition from those, you know, it's like, hey, oh, wait, that one's catching one. So, you know, you, you find one that starts catching fish, start working on versions of that bead color, you know, like maybe it's a matte frosted version of it or whatever. But then you'll start seeing what the fish are keen in on for the day. And you can fine tune all your rods to where there's... They're all getting bit versus just one guy. Um, you know, you know, if you're a single guy on the bank, then just you just switch out, you know, switch out and fish a run, come back and fish it with some different different leads, see what happens. You know, um, I just wanted to keep this one short and kind of go over that. Um, if you have, please throw in the questions and then I will know to what we should add in other videos. But that's a little little basic to get you going. Um, we can talk bead size. Uh, in the next video. Okay? All right, guys. Tight lines. Randy Lured, luredbythebead.com. Uh, let's go catch some fish.